What's good, YouTube? It's your boy BZB, and I'm back once again with another video. So look, y'all. I know it's been a minute since I post on YouTube and everything, but I just wanted to make a video real quick and talk about some shit, basically. Man, so I be watching a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, really, too, and... It's like it's a lot of people that's simple minded in this world and there's a lot of people that hate on other people in this world. And how I feel about that, man, I feel like everybody got a clock on their life. You gonna be successful at this point, you gonna make it at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's all up to you though. It is what you wanna do with your life, you know what I mean? And I be watching a lot of YouTubers basically clown people who simple minded and work jobs, you know what I'm saying? Because they never made it or they don't have the same route that the YouTuber may have, you know what I mean? And all I could do about that is just kind of laugh at it. Because to be honest, before you made it, you was just like us, you know what I'm saying? Working 80 hours every two weeks or, in my case, about 100 hours every two weeks, you know, like whatever it was. But you you basically getting slavery, you know what I'm saying? You bust your ass for all these hours. You get your little small ass check and it's like you keep doing that back to back you check the check and you ain't getting nowhere you know what i'm saying so so to everybody out there man you want to be successful bro whatever it is that's on your mind whatever it is that you are passionate about just whatever it is because you're doing something right now you working or you going to school but whatever it is that you really feel in your heart that you should be doing do that shit because no matter what, people going to hate on you. No matter what, people going to sit down and try to change your mind or people going to try to knock you down. Like, you know what I mean? People always going to hate on you no matter what. So make sure no matter what, you're doing what you want to do, you're doing what you feel you should be doing, and you're putting your all into that shit every day. Like, and I'm not even, like I always say this, I ain't trying to be no hypocrite or nothing, but... Damn, I caught fucked up my video. But... I'm not sitting there trying to be a hypocrite because I'm telling y'all, man, chase your dream. Do that shit every day, every day, every day. And this is my dream. YouTube is my dream, bro. And I, I've been slipping, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I told y'all, when you have a job and you work every day, there's only so much time in the day. It's only 24 hours in the day. In my case, I work about 10 to 12 hours every day. So it's like whenever I get off, I still be thinking about my YouTube, but... Boy, want and shit. But yeah, it's like I think about my YouTube and everything. I realize that this is what I should be doing. But the way I work, you know what I mean, kind of stops it. And that's also a fault in my in my life on my part because instead of when I get off being tired, like, oh man, fuck that shit, I'm not gonna do it. Or instead of waking up late just to get ready and go to work, I could hop on this YouTube. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is it's like no matter what, there's a way. And I know a lot of YouTubers, they say, like, I used to work this job, I quit my job, and I said, fuck it, this is what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? Basically taking a leap of faith, a sacrifice. And I be thinking about it, but I'm like, man, to be honest, man, that's a big leap of faith. To quit your job not knowing where you, your next check coming from, you know what I'm saying? Just putting your all into the one thing you want to do. And if it work, you, you good, you know what I'm saying? If it don't work, then it's like, back to the applications, back to square one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, no matter what you do in life, bro, do what you want to do, do what you feel you should be doing, and put your all into this shit. I don't want to keep telling y'all, man, I'm going to stop putting my videos on. I'm going to stop saying this shit. When y'all see me dropping videos every day, all day, y'all going to know when I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious right now. But like I said, I work all day, every day. So whenever I get immune to my system, immune to my system, I'm, I sound stupid. Whenever I get used to, you know, my schedule and everything, and I find a way to add YouTube into my schedule and, you know, really chase my dream and do what I want to do, then y'all going to see, you know what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. Because I plan on being a big YouTube. I plan on doing this shit for most of my life. I'm not going to say all my life because... You can only do something for so long. That's just like a rapper, you know what I'm saying? They gonna rap, but they gotta do other stuff because at the same time, you can't rap forever. You ain't gonna be... My bad, y'all. Somebody called my phone. But yeah, it's like a rapper. 
you gonna rap, you gonna be cool, you gonna be the best artist or whatever for so long, and then you gonna fall short. Because you can't do, you know, one thing forever. You kinda gotta expand your options. You kinda gotta, you gotta move around. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do multiple shit. Because if you stuck doing one thing, it might work for you, but it's not gonna work for too long and it's not gonna do what you expected to do or what you wanted to do. Why people be looking at me like that and shit, boy? But I feel like the same goes with this YouTube. I feel like that's why YouTubers, they might start, I say you might start being, you might start YouTube doing a YouTube. Get my two, man. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. You might start YouTube doing reactions, okay? The reactions gonna work for so long. You're gonna have to move around. You're gonna start doing challenges. You're gonna start doing vlogs. You're gonna start doing like pranks, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to move around because at the same time, it's only so long that shit gonna work out for you. And a lot of YouTubers say that shit. They like, when I started doing this, it worked, but it fell short. Now I gotta do this. You know what I mean? So it's like if you willing to be well rounded, if you willing to you wouldn't have just basically think outside the box and be creative, then you're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for anything in life. Like, if you don't have your mindset on, like, a certain career, let's say you want to be a nurse. Okay, you could be a nurse. You could make all that money. But at the same time, if you want to expand your boundaries and think outside the box, become a surgeon. You know what I mean? There's more money in your pockets. And same field, just different thing. You know what I mean? And that's, that goes for anything in life, like, you can have your mind set on something. You could achieve that one thing. But if you really want to get far in what you're doing, you got to level up. Like, everything in life, everything in life is just levels. Just like your first job. Your first job ain't going to pay you shit. You know what I'm saying? You might get minimum wage, seven some an hour, eight some an hour, whatever, you know, it is. You know, you're going to do that. You're going to have to have that job for about six months. Everybody had their first job for about six months. You're going to do that level up you're gonna lose that job somehow you're gonna quit or get fired you're gonna get another job it's gonna be a little more than your last job but you gotta let that job run its course the next thing you know you want to quit that job get fired from that job now you had another job getting paid a little more like it just it's levels it's levels you know what i'm saying but how i feel with the work and shit i feel like as long as you working for somebody else as long as you got a job as long as you punching the clock you always gonna be in the same predicament you know what i'm saying no matter how much more you make an hour you a slave to a company, and no matter how much you make an hour, you're going to be check to check. Because that's what it's designed for you to do. It's designed to make the company more richer, and it's going to make you more satisfied because you're getting more every check. But at the end of the day, you're never going to be rich from doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just, you're going to be working, busting your ass every day, being a good fucking employee, making somebody else rich. You know what I'm saying? And every job you work to, if you can't make the company more money, you're not going to last that long. Because they only look for people who can make them the most money and don't, you know, and don't know back to them, don't tell them how they feel, none of that. They want the person that could get paid bare minimum and work the hardest. That's who they want. Fuck that. That's why you got to think outside the box and do extra. You know what I'm saying? When you young, like I said, I'm 20 years old. When you my age, you got to work. You got to, you know, get your money somehow. But you should know also that there's other routes you could take to touch way more money. There's no limit on money, how much money you can make in the world. Like, you can look at other people and be like, ah, damn, they rich, how they did that. Follow their trail, you know what I'm saying? Everything they tell y'all they do, try it, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you can't base your legacy off of another man's success. You gotta find your own legacy, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like I said, if that's your dream, if you passionate about it, if you putting in your hard work every day, it's gonna come. It just is going to take some time, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing in life easy. And, like, another thing I be thinking, I be thinking about, like, man, you got to pray, though. Like, you got to pray. You got to, you know, make sure you talk to God about how you feeling and everything. And you don't sit there and ask him, like, hey, show me how to be successful or show me how to, you know, not successful. Like, you don't ask him, how do I be rich or I want this amount of money or, like, anything like that. You got to ask him to guide you in the right direction to get where you want to be in life. Because if you don't ask something to guide you, then you kind of just on your own, like a chicken with your head cut off. you just running around trying to figure out shit. You're going through ideas, but you don't know where to go because you're not really got it. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't really have that faith 
But it's the truth. God really could guide you in the right direction. Like, and he's not just going to guide you on the, let's say you got three roads. He's not just going to put you on the right road to, shoo, you, now you're rich. You know what I'm saying? He's going to put you on the wrong road. But it's up to you to find the right road. You know what I mean? Like, let's say, let's say you, I'm going to just say this. Let's say you want to do YouTube. The first road is YouTube. The second road is a job. And the third road is your free time with your job to make your YouTube. Right? The third, I mean, the road you should be on is the first road or the third road. You know what I mean? But he might put your ass on that second road and you got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Because in everyday life, you need your money. You're going to have to work. So he going to put you on that second road with working. It's up to you to hop on that third road or that first road. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you're going to have to work and do your YouTube at the same time. But it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to find your way to get to that third road so you can work and do your YouTube so eventually you could be on that first road. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know how to explain it, man, but that's all I'm saying. And, man, to be honest, I think this is all I got on this video. I just had to post something to let y'all know I'm still here. I was finally off today, so, man, it's dark in here. My tent dark, man. Yeah. I had to post a video to let y'all know, man, like, I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I'm still here. I, might, I probably ain't been posting that much, but... Man, I'm still here. I'm still thinking about the YouTube, man. I'm still coming up with ideas. I'm brainstorming every day. Every day I'm at work, I'm brainstorming ideas, man. What to do on here? What to, you know what I'm saying? What's my next move? Like, because I'm not going to stop. Like I said, bro, I'm just 20 years old. I got way too much more life to live, and I ain't trying to work for somebody the rest of my life. I've been working since I was 18, and I'm 20 now. And I can say one thing, bro. Every job is the same. You gonna get paid bare minimum. You gonna bust your ass every fucking day. You're not gonna like it. You gonna dread going over the, but it's all you know. That's all you was taught. So that's what you gonna do. And that's kind of what you gotta do, unless you got a different outlook on life. You know what I mean? But it's all up to us to find out. And I feel like everybody is destined to be successful. It's just it's it's your mind. It's all a mind thing. Everything in life is a mind game. If you can't overpower your own mind, if you can't tell yourself to do something when you really don't want to do it, or if you can't stop yourself from knocking yourself off your own pivot, you know what I'm saying? Like, like me. I can either wake up, do my YouTube, and go to work, sacrifice a couple hours of sleep, you know what I'm saying? Or I could do what I've been doing, sleep, until I got to go to work. And now I ain't doing no YouTube videos at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm... I'm bad at this shit, too. This is something I need to work on, but it's something that I realized. So I'm passing it on to y'all. Hopefully, that could wake y'all up, too. You know what I mean? But, uh, like I said, though, man, I think that's it. Y'all comment down below. Let me know some videos I should be doing. Any ideas y'all got? Because I've been brainstorming, but, man, y'all let me know some ideas y'all got. Y'all let me know the video I did with my dog, them charges that... What it was, a 392 or a skate pack or something like that. Y'all let me know if I should keep doing videos like that because I enjoy cars. I love cars with a passion. So if I could do pa if I could do cars and shit on YouTube, something I'm passionate with, then I would fuck with that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to love to do that shit, especially if I'm getting paid to do some shit I love. You know what I'm saying? That's the key to life, doing some shit that you love. But, man, like I said, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and y'all hit that bell. And y'all let me know. I'm tripping. Y'all hit that bell so y'all know when I'm posting, man. I'm out of here.